Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back. We're to Grace Blossoms for you. Um, I don't know about you, but when I first started this journey of junk journaling, I printed out tons and tons of things. And now they're just kind of sitting around in a box and I need to use them up. So what I thought I would do is make some of these edges and um, these are not my idea. I saw Julie at Camellia Crafts Designs do this a while back and I, I thought I couldn't do it because it looked complicated to me. But today is the day I even tried making paper, what do you call those, ruffles. And so I'm going to try and use that one up today too. So basically I'm just taking the size of my normal journals is about this height. So I am just building up the one side and then just as a backing. And so what I found is that these printouts, some of them didn't turn out too well either. So I don't feel too bad about like cutting them. And I'm cutting them roughly, I don't know, inch and a half. And then I'm going to trim this out because I don't really want any more white space. Something like that. I will, I will end up inking these quite a bit just to, so that they don't all blend in together. You want well, I want to attach them, but I also want them to kind of stand out. So then I just have to decide, like if I had some script, maybe some book page in between all these images, that would be a good thing. I just have to find some book page. Okay, this will do. I mean, you can make these as thick or as thin as you want. I just thought since I want it peeking through, I might just do something like this. And then this could be in the background. I think I'm going to trim this off though. And then this can act as a tab. I don't know now. I'm a little... I do it up there and I can just add the
Maybe I want to put the page all the way down. Something like that, and then just have yeah, so this one's a little different than the one I've made up until now, so that's okay. We don't need them all to be the same. Something like that. All right, let's go for it. Use that another time. So I hope you're doing well, getting on top of things. You know, I think the violin would go better with the bird and the flower. me bird singing remind me more of music than typewriters so and then you can decorate these or you can wait until you use them on a page and decorate them after however you like to do it that's perfectly fine I've already made a whole bunch of these, so I will show you the ones I did make. Some I decorated, but not all. All right, so then I left most of them kind of straight on the outside or on the one side, which I figure will be on the outside. But if it goes a little outside the straight line, that's okay too. So. Then I think with so many things inking, just makes it a whole lot nicer. I'm just gonna trim that a bit more. So yeah, I, tr I did ink the individual pieces before I put them down. And now I'm inking the whole thing, so. I know, a lot of you don't like ink, and that's fine. I happen to think it makes it stand out a bit more. So, I will use those another time. And then I will show you the ones I already made. This took me quite a while on the weekend, but I got a lot of those little pieces um, used up. I think actually tre uh, Natasha on Treasure Books mentioned this idea about ephemera for um, book for page ends. So yeah, this just shows you that I had a whole ton of stuff printed out. Some stamps that I had stamped out and were laying around some of the punches. Um, a lot of the things I had punched out. 
So, and this one I did decorate a little bit. I put flowers on top, butterfly stamps. Um, let's see, just a bunch more here. Like I said, I used up a lot of things that I had already printed and stamped and punched out. So this, I like it this idea. Oh, I added some washi tape on this one. You know, just things that I had so much of and I still have probably half a box that I still need to get rid of. So added some lace over here. So yeah, that's this project and once you get going you find more stuff to add so I was kind of <laughs> happy to use up more things than I even thought that I had so all right thanks for watching and uh, short one today but hope you got some inspiration and maybe a reminder to use up some of the things that you've maybe even forgotten that you had so Thanks, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.